Okay, here we go. I don't know exactly how this is going to go. I think sometimes I need to just open up the camera and start to talk. Yesterday I had an amazing conversation with someone where they were challenging um, some of the major concepts and constructs in the way that I view myself and the way that I think about my life and some of the things that I view are important, how I lead. One of the things that really jumped out in the conversation was the visionary style of leadership that I have. Some people call it apostolic, some people call it, call, some people call it missional, some people are really excited about entrepreneurship, whatever the word that you use, whatever the key that you use for explaining this, the point is still there. And the question that challenged me yesterday is still hanging with me. I wonder if it could help you. A lot of times as a visionary leader, often as someone who is apostolic, someone who is an entrepreneur, someone who goes out there and gets stuff done, we, we see a picture of what the future could look like. It comes to us, sometimes it comes to us while we're sitting down and just thinking about things. Sometimes it's out on a run, sometimes it's in the shower, sometimes it's while you're praying or whatever it is that you do, you get an idea and you have this thought in your mind about, wow, this thing could be so incredible and so life-changing to people. You have this picture of what is going to happen and you start to think about that and it kind of overtakes you and you write out kind of what it would look like. Maybe you rewrite up a couple paragraphs or, or maybe you start sharing it with people. Maybe you are artistic and you draw a picture of it or maybe you write a song about it. But whatever it is, you have this picture in your mind of what could happen. And then you rush on and you go after it. A lot of times apostolic, visionary, entrepreneurial people instinctively know why it's important. They just have this gut level feeling I know why this is important. I know why this is life-changing. I know why people need to hear this, need to, to understand this, or, or need to participate in this, whatever it is. And so maybe you spend a little bit of time considering how you're going to communicate that, but often you don't spend as much time on the why as the what, because you saw this amazing picture, and at a gut level, you know why this is important, but you don't always think through it. And then the third step that a lot of apostolic people should be doing or should have people around them helping them do, but often fail to do, is the how. See, for us as, as people that have the vision, have the picture in our heads, we know the, we know the what. And, and, and we feel the, the why, but we don't often think through the how. And a lot of times it can end up causing people around us to feel tired and drained because instead of taking people through the process and maybe showing them the picture or maybe helping them to really gain perspective on the why and then leading them through the how, we just throw out the what and then say, okay, figure it out. At least that's me. I don't know if you have the same struggles I have. Maybe there's something else that, that misses it in you. But I think for, for all of us, we need to know the what. We need to know the why. And we need to know the how. And as you grow and develop in your leadership, I would encourage you to take time to think clearly, to process not just the what that's exciting in the picture that you have. And not to just feel the why, but to learn how to describe the why, to make it tangible for other people, to, to help them to feel the why at the gut level that you do. And then to process out the how, whether you do that or whether you have a team of people that do that with you, but to process through the steps. How are we going to accomplish this? What are the realistic timelines? What are the ways that we're going to accomplish it? What resources do we need? And then to make those available my thought is that if you are willing to go through the process, the, the hard work of not just the what, but the why and the how, I'm convinced that you'll be able to lead more effective in whatever genre of life you're in.